This right here is the most dangerous city on the face of the planet. I'm not just saying that. Well, I am saying that, but th that's just because it's true. Literally six people are murdered here a day with a bunch of human trafficking. And th that's really bad stuff. Regardless of all of that, I'm still going to sleep here. With all this information, it would make sense if I just act up and didn't do this. Well, I'm gonna do it anyway. Welcome, my friends. I mean, my amigos. Tijuana, Mexico. I just walked into Mexico from the United States. It was super easy, but they really didn't like me filming, so here's me walking through the last gate. I think that was it. I think I'm here. This is my friend Ellie, and she's notorious for traveling to dangerous cities, so she'll be making sure I don't die today. Most likely. Here are some of the cities she's been to. We've got Rio in Brazil. We've got India, Marrakesh. I don't even know where those, I don't even know what that means. I had the taxi driver drop me off with the skin on my back and a crispy $15, which is every dollar I've ever made off YouTube. Yes, you did hear me correctly. Not only will I be surviving in the most dangerous city ever, but I'll only be doing it with $15. God, this is a terrible idea. My mother's so disappointed in me. Anyway, I spent the first ten dollars on the cheapest motel in Tijuana, Mexico. I thought you told me this was a five-star hotel. Yeah, definitely not. It's five star on price. Signing my life away, lol. No, no, seriously, I might be signing my life away. Look at these reviews. This hotel is associated with the cartel. There's apparently loads of hidden cameras in there that I didn't know about. They even leave little unwelcome surprises everywhere. This is not safe. Behind this door with the structural integrity of a cardboard box was our home base for the next 24 hours. Smell that? The hotel was covered in all sorts of what looked like human-made liquids on the walls, on the table, on the bed. Heck, they even left me a surprise in the toilet. By surprise, I mean it was, it was shit. And just when I was thinking, it really couldn't get much worse. This guy literally just walked up to our, oh, this guy right here. That guy's been walking around looking through people's windows. He just peeked in our window. We made eye contact with him and he just slowly walked away, pretending like it didn't happen. I think we can all agree that guy was pretty scary. But nonetheless, nothing was gonna stop me from exploring this city in style. Ellie, come on. I actually have some questions I wanna answer, some questions I feel like everyone wonders in these dangerous cities. How much can $5 get me here? Is this city actually as dangerous as everyone says? And number three, what is the most dangerous thing I can do? So let's go see what this place is all about. I'm actually a little nervous. So I started my walk to go answer the first question, how much can I get with $5? And it took me about 20 seconds to realize I look like a complete idiot, but it didn't matter. I needed to see how much $5 would get me. And lucky for me, I was really hungry. I spent everything I had. We literally have no more money and we just got here. Just like that, question one was answered. I was able to buy a meal for Ellie and I both for under $5. Dangerous city or not, that was a, that was a pretty good price. The second question I gotta answer is, how much crime actually happens here? I got an iPhone, I'm gonna drop it in the middle of the sidewalk and see how long it takes to get stolen. What, what's your guess? Um, I'm guessing five minutes max. I think that my phone will sit on the floor for a couple hours. I placed that phone down with complete faith in humanity and actually, I was, I was wrong. I was so wrong. It, it was taken in record setting time, like 22 seconds. Well, that answers our second question. There's definitely some crime, and definitely don't leave your things out for any more than 22 seconds. And for the last question, I need the sun to set. It's nice and dark outside, which leads me to the third question. What's the most dangerous thing you can do in Tijuana, Mexico? The nightlife. There's loads of kidnappings, druggings, and in some cases, actual murders. Ellie, you down? I think the way that we stay safe in this is just watch our drinks. That's the main thing. Straight away, people are going to be trying to trip us. I'm not a big drinker anyway. I'm going to stay totally sober just to make sure we're safe. Yeah, I don't, I don't really feel it that much. After about an hour of dancing with the locals and literally no one wanted anything to do with me whatsoever, I had to ask myself the question, was this actually the most dangerous thing I could do? As a final test to that, I decided to walk the streets outside the tourist zone in the middle of the night. Now before I took my midnight stroll in potential gang territory, I just had to say, I genuinely appreciate you all viewing and helping me make $15 appear off the internet. I don't think you understand how amazing that is for me. I've been working on this YouTube channel for literally years and I made my first $15 like yesterday. If you're enjoying the videos, please drop a subscribe. This is going to be an absolutely crazy adventure and it'd be a shame if you missed it. Now back to the part where I take the most dangerous walk of my life. Is that like low-key? Yeah. This is low-key. You're not back in 20 minutes? I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I act all tough in there. I'm pretty I'm pretty goddamn scared. I just walked past a guy and he immediately said what's going on in English, meaning he just assumed I spoke English. That's not good. I'm getting a little bit worried about Tyler. He should be heading back now. 
So if it hits that 20 minute mark, I really don't know what I'm going to do. I toned back the talking because I was really starting to draw unwanted attention to myself, so I took a turn into a store, bought a bottle of water, and decided to walk back. Now this is where things start to get a little bit sketchy. I was walking past this guy who was hiding behind the fence and he starts hitting it. Then another guy across the street just ironically starts hitting the fence as well. And after a third guy started hitting the fence, I realized it might actually be clever if I start to run for my life. Oh my god. I hope this is Tyler. Oh my god, I'm gonna check for the curtain. To my surprise, I actually survived. I, I, risked, I risked it all for this bottle of water right here. I'd say we answered the last question. That is definitely one of the most dangerous things you can do in Tijuana, Mexico. And my closing remarks to the city are that if you don't look for trouble, you're probably not gonna find any. And I'm an idiot. I definitely look for some trouble. But don't do what I did, ever. I love you, Mexico. I love you, Tijuana. I love you, everyone watching. We lived. We did. We survived. That'll do it.